really did something really drastic i did something crazy absurd to be honest i went almost four weeks without putting solid food into my body channel i am back again with another highly requested video actually this video i should have put out a long time ago but just due to like i really wanted this video to be perfect like spot on and so like it's just taking me a long time to put this out like almost a year later but lol but at least i'm here but anyways thank you for tuning into my channel if you're new to my channel of course subscribe like you're already here but if you're not new shout out to you thank you for tuning in Hit that doorbell notification so that you are updated anytime I post a new video. So you can be updated when I post new content. I am most active on Twitter and Instagram at Amorphate. So you can be updated with um, me, I guess. <laughs> Welcome to the truth about the lemonade cone. I really did something really drastic. I did something crazy, absurd. To be honest, I went almost four weeks without putting solid food into my body. I went, I went like almost four weeks without putting food into my body. Yeah, it's crazy. And ask me how I even did it. I say it's by God's grace, to be honest, cause, <laughs> but to be honest, let me stop. Like it, it really was not that bad, to be honest. And I felt like the most thing, the most important thing that kept me going is the fact that I knew that I wanted to record it and I wanted to put it out. Um, I want to let y'all know that I broke it down into three sections. The first section is going to be like a Q&A. The second section is going to be like what I eat. And I'm going to take on a little grocery shop and kind of vlog, kind of like little type of thing to show y'all what I eat to stay fit and to just nourish my body. And then the last section will be like kind of like my gym routine, like just a basic what I do when I get into the gym. All right. So before I get into all this, let me kind of give you a little backstory of why I even decided to do this cleanse. Around January of last year, I just decided to take my health into consideration. I decided to like start taking care of my body, to watch what I eat, to actually start, you know, f taking good care of myself. Like I wasn't happy with like my body. I wasn't happy with how I looked and stuff. I just was not overall, like I felt I wasn't complete. So I'm like, okay, you know what? It's about time to actually start caring about the food I eat. It's about time to actually start working out and getting my behind back together. So. Just overall taking good care of my body and my health. So I know if you had me on Snap at that time, like I know y'all were annoyed for me. Like <laughs> y'all saw the first day I went, you know, got my food to get, you know, ready for my meal prep. The time I got my gym membership, all of that. Like every day was gym fam, gym fam, gym fam. Check in, check in, check in. Like you knew what it was. Like I started to take my health into consideration. I was working out like seven days a week. Like I was like, I'm going to get skin tea. Like sis, period. 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 Like, I'm coming for y'all, okay. But what really made me go into this cleanse is the fact that I started getting frustrated. I started running out of patience, and that is something that I learned. Fitness and just overall taking care of yourself is patience. You're going to need patience. Like, I was putting so much work in the gym. Seven days a week, I was on it. Like, I feel like the work that I was putting in wasn't matching my results. So I was like, okay, you know what? Like, I need to take it back. Like, I'm around you. You need to take it back. You need to go back to square one. Like, sis, you need to get it together. Like, we, we got to get it together. So that is basically what I decided to do. I decided to just go back to square one. So I did my research. I was on the computer. I was on YouTube, like, looking up, you know, how to lose weight, click a lot of stuff. Samarella's video came up and Maya's video came up. And don't worry, I will link all these helpful informations in the info box and the description box so make sure you check that out for any confusion or if you want to know anymore i saw that i was like hey like what is this lemonade thing like let me go and do my research and first of all i don't do anything when i do my research in it just because you know people are doing something don't mean i'm gonna do it i have to do my personal research i have to do my own evaluation and then figure out like okay then deep is this really what i want to do so after i did it i was like okay this is simple like all right i'm gonna do it period like and i'm gonna record it okay so i decided to do it and honestly since my results were crazy in about like three weeks i lost like almost 25 pounds which is insane honestly it's not. Tiny entertainment, baby. 
also called the Master Cleanse. It is a liquid only diet that consists of lemon juice, maple syrup, water, and so followed by a lacet of tea to balance. So the main goal of this lemonade cleanse or master cleanse or Beyonce cleanse, whatever you want to call it, is to detox. The main, you know, the main purpose of it is to detox your body to kind of help you have a boost to lose weight. Also, while doing my research, I also learned that this patients also do this. Like when they're getting ready to go into the doctor or to do surgery, patients kind of do this for a couple of days. So like Ingredients are very simple. What you're going to need is lemons. You're going to need fresh lemons. Yes, sis, you are going to need fresh lemons. Please do not get the, like, the ones that's in that tiny jar to squeeze. That, that's not real lemon juice. You are going to be squeezing real lemons, sis. You are going to be squeezing real lemons. You're going to need water, of course. You're going to need shine pepper. You're going to need 100% maple syrup. Make sure that when you get your maple syrup, it says 100%. Like if you turn it around, and look on the ingredients, it should say 100% maple syrup. If it does not say maple syrup or 100% maple syrup, then that's not the one you get. You need to get the one that on the ingredients, it says maple syrup strictly. And you can get the organic or the regular kind, like it doesn't matter as long as it's maple syrup. Then you're also going to need a lacet of tea. On the website, it calls to you smooth, but I got my lacet of tea from like the little Chinese store or Asian store that's close to my house. To be honest, it doesn't matter which lacet of tea. I beg, they all do the same thing. At the end of the day, the last of these go, it, it, it all has the same job. So it's just picking out which one, the one that you like. So basically these directions I'm gonna give you are like the directions to be able to make a serving, which is like a glass, like about eight ounces of lemonade. But basically what I did is like, I kind of converted my calculations to a gallon. So I traced up my calculations to be able to make a gallon because like when I was gonna drink it, like I'm not gonna be wanting to, you know, be making a glass every time like I wanted to make it in bulk I want it to be good I want it to be set freshly squeezed lemon juice you're gonna need two tablespoons of 100% maple syrup you're gonna need one tenth teaspoon of cheyenne peppers to be honest the cheyenne peppers is super optional to be honest but like I liked it and then you're gonna need of course your eight ounces of water so like I said again I converted these calculations to be able to fit a gallon so I would make you know my gallon for the night um it says a minimum of 16 to 18 glasses or just drink it whenever you're hungry. So me, like I didn't keep in track. I made my gallon, so like sometimes I would really go through a gallon a day and even have to make a little bit more. So basically, you would treat it like food. And that's not the confusion that people had. I would get questions asking me like, how do you like use this? You know, how do you like use it? So basically you treat it like food. You know, whenever you're hungry, you go and eat and you're fulfilled. So basically you treat this like your food. Whenever you're hungry, you go ahead and drink your lemonade to your full. And honestly, I would get that full feeling. Like, you know when you drink like a lot of water and your belly gets really full? That's basically what I had. I would really have that fulfilled and full feeling. So I was good. Like, sis, I did not in no way that I ever feel like I was um, ever starving. I, I felt pretty good on it to be like, this drink basically tastes like a Mexican candy called Lucas. Like, if, if you know, if you if you like Mexican candy, then you know it basically tastes like a liquid form of Lucas. And I think it was like the cheyenne peppers mixed with the lemon. It it was good to be honest. Like the it did not taste bad at all. Whether you had the cheyenne peppers in there or not, it did not taste bad at all. Like the website said you'll make sure you drink your last sedative by night time. But to be honest, I would drink the last sedative like every other day. I wouldn't drink it like every night because like sometimes I just didn't want to, and sometimes like I didn't want to really be, you know, in the restroom 24/7. basically 5-8 so basically 5-8 is the best hype because Rihanna is 5-8 so basically I'm Rihanna period period since I was so used to working out like every day I didn't want to just stop working out like it, it felt kind of you know like when you make a habit and you know it's kind of hard to break it so I would be so used to going to the gym every day that I did I really did not want to break um, going to the gym so I attempted to do it the first week but I couldn't because I was just so busy I was so busy with school with work like I just I actually did not have the time to go to the gym but the second week I attempted to go to the gym and I went like I think two or three days out of the week so really only that second week is the only time I got to go to the gym and I just did moderate workout like I did something very simple I would get on the um, treadmill for like 15 20 minutes or like the Stairmaster, like I would do some like moderate cardio, nothing too crazy. Like since like I didn't want to burn myself out because I knew that I wasn't physically eating food, and so like I didn't want to do 
like a crazy ham head workout like I would do as opposed to like when I was just eating, you know, regular food. So what is a typical day like? So a typical day would be basically um, I would have my lemonade gallon ready from the night before because you know I would prepare my gallon ready so I would just like take in a container and white bottle when I would go to work or where I would go to school and like I said I didn't really get a starving feeling like when I drink my lemonade to fullness I'll be fulfilled and I'll be okay and set to go yeah so that's basically what it's a good day with um, by the end of the day I would take my last of it. I'm gonna just hold that question on until the end where I, where I kind of like expose this diet, but like, yeah, I'll let you know. I got to say this. My waist trainer is from Ann Cherry. I'm gonna put all that good information in the description box and let you know. I got it from Amazon, to be honest, and I also purchased a sweet sweat with it because what I would do is like wear my sweet sweat first and then put my waist trainer like on top. So I get like, I get extra snatched. You feel me? I'll get super snacks, double snacks. So I would wear that like going to school, going to work, and then going to the gym. Like I just wanted to keep it. I wanted to be snatched twenty four seven. Like you get me. I kind of wanted to go over some master cleanse FYI's just to kind of like give you a heads up of what to expect, but. I pretty much figured out the main reason why this cleanse works so quick is the fact that you are only running on carbs. In this diet, you're not going on proteins, you're not putting fats into your body, and you know, that's the same basis of how juice cleanses work, good of how smoothie um, cleanses work. You're only running on carbs, so the body is burning that fat so quick. Since you're not putting fats or protein in, it's burning off the ones you have so quick. Your bowel movements will be very regular. I think that is the beauty about this cleanse is that it really helps with constipation. If you have been constipated, this cleanse will do a lot for you. It will help you use the restroom very often. And also be mindful of that. Major, I, keywords, major FYI. Your bowel will be in a liquid form. Yes, you are basically going to be pooping liquid. Because the fact that you are on a liquid diet, you are only putting liquid into your body. So for the most part, your bowel will be in a liquid form. So, and keep in mind, this is very hard to hold. When you're going to need to use the restroom, you're going to have to use the restroom. So keep that in mind also. A huge clarification, on this master cleanse, you are actually allowed to eat. Alright, so if you feel like you can't do it by yourself or you kind of just want assistance or you wanted to eat, you know, just minimally, you are allowed, according to the website, you are allowed a light meal and that's in the form of like a light salad, which also can be a fruit, dry fruit, um, non-fat ice cream, anything basically that only has carbs in it. If it has no fat and it's full carbs, you are still allowed on the diet since this diet is basically a carb run diet. Or in other cases, if you wanted to use this as a meal replacement, you kind of are allowed to eat a meal, a regular meal, but let it to be like very minimal in fat. So you can use this as a replacement. Let's say you have like two meals in a day, and then for your third meal, you use it, your lemonade, and drink that throughout the day. That definitely still works. This whole diet is all about tweaking and working out for you. Either way, you're still going to lose weight. But for me, I decided to go straight without having a light meal just for the fact that I knew that I was going to record it and I wanted raw results. <sighs> that was a lot, yes, but I hope I did not bore y'all too much with all that information, but it needed all to be said because <laughs> if I didn't say it, I know somebody's gonna ask. Anyhow, like I have promised, I'm going to bring y'all to the grocery store with me just to kind of show y'all, I guess what my grocery shopping look trips look like and you know the foods I get when I go grocery shopping and first of all food is very important especially when you're trying to lose weight or just be fit what you put into your body is so important it's so important to get good nutrients and just good overall raw vitamins into your food or into your body and let's please dead the connotation that you know trying to eat good is boring it's not so hopefully this video is not trash and hopefully I'm doing a good representation but I'm just gonna kind of show y'all what you know or how I eat to stay fit tips and how to shop on a budget 
Number one tip I can give you when it comes to losing weight and aiding and weight loss, protein, protein, protein. It is very important to have a diet that is very high in protein. Protein is what rebuilds your body, aids in weight loss. Also, a nice source of protein are nuts, eggs, all of that good stuff. Even if you're vegan or just overall not a meat eater. Kind of like my little cheat meal you know when i'm feeling kind of you know well dessert sushi i love sushi sushi has actually a lot of nutrients in it and don't worry sis i'm still trying to get to eating raw sushi now i i, I have to eat my sushi cook i'm not about that life yet but yeah tips like that you know you can mix it up also another major tip sis go to the dollar store the dollar store actually has like hidden treasures if you know me you know like i gotta be on a budget with everything you you know i gotta shop smart I like to go to the dollar store and look out for their frozen fruit and these are all a dollar a piece and I use these to make my protein smoothies which I'm going to show you in the upcoming clip. Also some other things I find is like this veggie burger. This is actually pretty nice and I said no it, it tastes pretty good. It actually tastes like potatoes more than anything but it is pretty nice and pretty low in fat and nutritious. Also frozen veggies one dollar and it's just quick fixes with any meal. One of my favorite, I mean favorite and most convenient way to get my protein intake in is through my protein powders. And that's a huge, I guess, misconception that people have about protein powders. All of this is just a more convenient way to get proteins. And please, can we dead the idea that protein powders are not good? Yes, they are. My protein powder is good. Whether I throw spinach, broccoli, carrots, even in that blender, I'm telling you, it will make it taste like vanilla cream. Period. So like I said, this is my little smoothie packet from the dollar store. <clears throat> and I just throw everything inside the blender. Like I might put, you know, fruits again on top of my protein powder or, or on top of the frozen fruits. I will use water or almond milk to help me blend that in. And it's just, look at that pretty color. It's just, this is so pretty. Like that's so beautiful. And I can use this as a pre-workout, like an after workout recovery. Yeah, all I do is just blend it in, use my little reusable, throw that baby in and literally I'm on my way. I know you're probably wondering, sis, what does this even have to do with the lemonade cleanse? But I promise you, babes, I promise you, be patient. This is all going to make sense into the end. One thing I've learned that weight loss is overall natural. It is not forced. It is not meant by doing like just crazy fad diets. It's overall putting good nutrients and good food into your system. All right, guys, we're not at the gym. Honestly, if you made it this far, I know that you're a very, very serious person. So shout out to you again. But basically, I'm just going to show you what a typical day in the gym look like. So let's get into that. First and foremost, um, when we get to the gym, you want to make sure you stretch. Make sure you stretch your body out. This is a good way to get your body in that mold to start working out and just to ensure that you don't pull nothing while you're working out. And make sure to do this before and after your workouts. Key number one, I like to start off with cardio. Cardio is the best way that is gonna make sure you sweat and burn the fat off. And I like to do HIT, high intensity interval training. It is much more effective and allows you to burn the fat in like half the time. Gee, this is like my favorite machine in the gym, the HIP abductor machine this is really good to start building your glutes and just overall help you build a more round firm and toned butt i like to call this one abs attack um i like to put in as much effort as i put into my glutes to my abs because i want to flex them up. but then again i mean who doesn't so on this i grab like 10 pounds weight and I, then i like to like challenge myself kind of like to go up with intensity And y'all know boost this stuff hurts like i'll be ready to drop these another one of my favorite booty building routines these are called ducky walks i actually got these from viva la nom's channel and you know took it of my own and incorporated it into me and at the end to even take your legs out more you're gonna do pulses with it and y'all these hurt no boost they do all right guys so welcome back again i know what you're probably thinking like sis like why do you have on a whole different hairstyle new nails like a whole do a no whole new do well that is basically because it is a brand new day like it's actually a week before i filmed the initial beginning 
actually I was just gonna voice over the conclusion but then I changed my mind I was just like okay I might as well talk to y'all like you know so it's interesting and you can see me all right so let's go on um I hope y'all enjoyed the part where I took out grocery shopping and also showed y'all like my favorite workout routines I hope y'all took something from that because I know like a lot of people have been asking me so I'm just like okay let me go ahead and make this a whole three in one type situation and put that in so I hope y'all enjoyed that and took something from that right, now for the moment the question that y'all have been waiting for says Amrachi, is this cleanse safe or not like let us know all right so I say yes because I'm alive yes I says I did it and I'm alive so like it's all good yes this is a um a safe cleanse for you to do um I overall do think it's safe I think it's good because like it just gives your body like a rest it gives your system a little rest you know from all that food all that junk you've been putting in your body and it kind of helps you to build discipline i believe like this really helps you to to build discipline especially if you're going on a new diet or you're kind of wanting to take like a change in your life and a change in the way you eat this builds discipline this will get you ready for the diet this will get you ready to kind of like you know being more concerned about what you eat to your body so i do say overall this is safe but then again, your body is a natural, like, detoxifying system. So, like, you know, everybody has their own opinion. If you do, be nice. But, yeah, so, um, yeah. But in conclusion, I do think this um, cleanse is overall safe. My answer is yes and no. <laughs> All right, why do I say yes? I say yes because, um, obviously, if you need to lose weight quickly, like, for a wedding, for, like, let's say, a vacation, or, like, you just need to lose weight in a very short amount of time this is going to do it regardless you are going to lose the weight whether you drop a pound or two or five or ten you will lose the weight like that is what this diet is set for it is meant for you to lose weight nothing more and nothing less so yes and for a short term type thing yes this will help you lose weight then i say no because this is not a consistent or a dependable way to lose weight like this is what i like to call a fad diet fad diet a fad diet is basically a chain reaction diet the same quickness and swiftness that you are able to lose the weight is the same way you will gain it back even quicker than you even lost the weight so this is what i do call a fad diet this light way is not a sustainable way to keep the weight off or to you know lose the weight honestly overall weight loss there is no cheat code like tbh you're gonna have to just be consistent um weight loss is natural it's over time it's nothing that is forced it's nothing that is stressed like literally it's over time it is consistent it takes consistency it is just overall just choosing healthier habits being active and overall just taking care of your body so but to be it's like it's hard like no boost like it's hard sometimes i want some pizza sometimes i want a burger like god made food for us to eat like period like <laughs> it's hard but um yeah because uh but some tips that i would say honestly to be able to lose weight just make sure you're active you can be active honestly it's not just the boring treadmill you can gym you can box you can dance you can do a whole bunch of things just keep active choose healthier options instead of doing junk food choose like fruits and vegetables and honestly key actually those five dollar four dollar three dollar ten dollar purchases they add up it is relevant honestly it's cheaper to go ahead and just throw in 40 or 50 to buy groceries it's gonna last you over time and honestly it's more healthier to be honest eating out is, is bad for you anyway so i would say definitely try to eat in more get your protein in work out do all those things and literally that is your successful way to work um to lose weight and that's what me i never want to say that i'm you know on a diet i want to say like this is my lifestyle you have to think that this is a lifestyle that's really what it is that's just how you eat when people you know ask me i just want to say okay this is how i live my life that is my lifestyle i'm not on a diet that's just how i eat i just like to eat clean and healthy and overall just take good care of your body i do believe that your body is a temple that honestly feed it with the best you know the highest of the highest feed it with the best nutrients the best water the best all those things that is your body is you just get one body honestly so take good care of it but like i said again it's hard like it's not easy I can't preach and be, you know, doing preaching. It's not easy. It's hard. It takes consistency. It takes discipline. Um, basically, 
I hope y'all took something um, from this video. I hope y'all enjoyed it. I hope y'all got something from the jam section, from the grocery section, from the whole overall cleanse section. If you have any comments or any questions, feel free to hit me up. Feel free to comment below. Let me know if you did this cleanse. Also, let me know like other key points and also key um, advice that y'all have. I am open all ears. And also, yeah, thank you for watching this video. Honestly, I didn't mean for this video to be this long, but it is what it is. So thank you so much for watching it to this long. If you watched it to this long, you are the best, honestly. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. Don't forget to hit that doorbell notification. Subscribe because there's going to be content, like lit content on this channel. So like, you don't want to miss out. Just letting you know. So thank you so much for watching and tuning in again. And I will catch you on the next one. Bye.